Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you how to do cut 1D and spider look. So first of all, you're taking the light line eyeshadow and apply it on your eyebrow. I really love the way cut 1D looks. She's just flawless. And the key to this look is going heavy on both the eyes and the lips. So you, I hope you dare to do it. Then you take the top, take the medium brown, I'd rather say it's um, darker brown, and you apply it all over your upper lid. And then you take the same color and apply it on your lower lash line and make sure you're making a big line, I mean, very wide. Now take this bit ankle brush, you're taking black, and you apply it in a crease, all the way. Now don't be afraid to take a lot of black. This is a heavy look. It's meant to be. And I really love it. It's a bit... It's rock and roll and it's very sassy. So cut, cut glass. I don't know how it's properly to say cat one D or cut one D. I think cut one D sounds better. So if I were her... Oh yeah, if I were her, I'd sleep with Nikki Six. Oh, what else can you dream of? So you apply it on your lower lash line and make sure that this line is, well, not too thin, but thin as that the brown you applied. So yeah. And now you're taking, oops, the black and you mix it with a dark brown. This. And you apply what you've got now uh, between the black and the brown. So this is the color it's gonna make it blend and make it look more sophisticated and finished. Now you're taking the, br the brush you've taken before when you've been applying the brown and you're taking the light peach. Okay, a little bit. And you apply it this corner over here just a little bit to highlight that stuff. That's it. Now you take angle brush, gel eyeliner. And cat is always going to the very wind out eye eye look. So you apply it on your upper lid. Hope my hair don't don't just go away. And you're drawing a really long line, starting probably from here. First time I've seen her wearing that very long line. I weren't quite sure that it's really worth it, right there, but yeah, it looks great. It totally works on her. So this may be a bit too much for you if you're not wearing a heavy look uh, most of the time. So just make sure you feel comfortable with what you feel, with what you wear. And if you're not sure, then maybe you should go with a bit less dramatic line. Oh yeah, that's totally what I wanted. So I'm applying my mascara. It's preliminary. I don't really like it. It bleeds out. It's okay. I'm applying it and going right back to you. So I'm back and now I'm going to apply my lips. 
So you're going to the dark red lip liner. Now I'm taking the dark red lipstick and I apply try to I like it better. That's my favorite song by Motley Crue. Love it. And I'm taking very, very dark, very taking a lip gloss and I'll put it in the corners so it gives the depth and make your eye lips even more sexy He always wears quite a very bright brush. I'm gonna go not that heavy, so I'm just applying a bit of a brown blush on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm ready to go to my tattoo master. Yeah, that's actually where I'm going right now. And guys, I promise I'm gonna show you my new tattoo. So, I'm sorry for bringing out my boob, <laughs> so that is, so it means a lot to me. <laughs> and maybe someday I'll show you some more of my tattoos, I'll get four of them. So, and maybe today I'm getting my new one. So, just let's see, and you just go and get yourself a cool look and just rock. Bye guys.